All right. Hmm. Even though they're all ultimate, they each have their own individual sort of um something. Hmm. Okay. Time to get down to business. This is no time to stand around making friends like a bunch of dull-eyed baboons. Oh, that's true. He's not gonna be a leader, is he? I think someone said something about a bigger problem or something. What was that about? Um, listen. Well, you see... Uh, um... Makoto, you said a bunch of stuff happened and then you were just asleep, right? Well, the same thing is true for all of us. What? Seriously? I mean, seriously? <laughs> what, what, fuck, what's his voice again? Goddamn, trying to remember all these guys' voices is gonna be a little bit difficult, too. <clears throat> Just after each of us got into the main hall, we lost consciousness. And when we came to, we were something... We were somewhere around in this school. That's what happened to you, right? But that's just weird that every one of us would get knocked out like that. Piece of shit! <laughs> oh, God. Exactly! That's why we are all freaked out. I don't know what your voice is. And that's not the only thing. You saw where all the windows and the classes of the hallway are, right? Yeah, crossbows, I mean, cross signs, metal, metallic windows. But instead of the normal glass windows, it was a bunch of metal plates. What's that about? Are you for real? Plus, all my stuff's missing. And my cell phone. Mm. Yeah, you're right. I haven't seen my PDA anywhere either. <sighs> And then, there's the main hall here. The front exit is completely blocked by some giant metal hatch. It's me. But there wasn't anything like that when I first got here. What the heck? What the heck is going on here? Aww. Maybe we got caught up in some kind of, like, you know, crime or something. Is it like... What? Like a kidnapping? <laughs> you think maybe somebody grabbed us and hauled us off and we're not actually at school? Hey, come on. Come on, don't you think like that? Cheer up! I bet this is all part of the school's orientational procedure! You know? What kind of fucked up procedure is this then? Yeah, I'm sure that's it. So I'm just gonna take it easy for a little bit. I see. Oh, so you think they just want us to do something to surprise us? What the hell? Huh? Well, if that's all it is, it's nap time for me. You know what I mean. It's up way too late last night, uh, so I could use a little shut eye. I feel everyone's tension of pre evaporating. Then it began. Sorry, that was the church bells. It's 12 a.m. right, 12 p.m. right here. Uh. Ahem. Testing, testing. Mic check one two. This is a test of the school broadcast system. Is this a teddy bear that uh murders the fuck out of rockets? Am I on? Can everyone hear me? Okay, well then. The voice seemed totally out of place. It was so playful, so completely unconcerned. I couldn't help but feel a deep, unnerving dread at the sound of it. It was like hearing someone laugh at the seam of an accident. Uh, to all incoming students, I would like to begin the entrance ceremony at... Right now! Please make your way to the gymnasium at your earliest convenience. That's all. I'll be waiting. This doesn't seem all good, or this doesn't seem all suspicious whatsoever. Huh? What the hell was that just now? Well then, if you'll excuse me, hey. you're gonna die first. Hey, what are you? You're going to take off just like that? Could it be? Oh yeah, now I get it. This whole thing was just to get us pumped up for the entrance ceremony. <laughs> Man, thank God it was all a joke. I'd be totally freaked if this was real. Alright, guess I'll be heading out too. Wonder what they got planned for us next. Uh, uh... Damn, I was looking forward to... I was looking totally forward to the nap too. Why well, I have to go and kill a moon? Huh? Oh, wait for me, I want to go too. <laughs> that is that then. I will see you all there. Anyway... Not that anyone cares, but I I'm gonna go too. Everyone took off to the gym, but I was frozen where I stood. That uneasy feeling I had before, I couldn't get it out of my mind. And it looked like I was, wasn't the only one. Uh, um... This... this doesn't seem right. This is bad. Yeah, that announcement was totally weird. However... Maybe, but staying cut doesn't mean they'll be all safe. 
Besides, aren't you guys just a little curious to find out what's going on around here? I see. So, if we do not move forward, we learn nothing. The only choice is to push ahead. I guess she's right. But still, I'm kind of, no, really nervous. We don't have a choice. We had to go. They said to go to the gym, right? Oh, sure. Why not? So, yeah, all these characters here, they're here. All right, we, uh... To introduce ourselves to them, at least, we got a uh, goth girl, metal singer, who is a baseball player, blue hair chick, pigtail wannabe girl, whatever. We got a biker gang. Uh, I'm trying to remember. I don't remember any of these guys' names whatsoever. Sayaka Maga. There we go. Okay. Uh, so these are the guys that are left with us here. Should we talk to them to get more information? Let's see. This is bad. What without that announcement? I was like totally creepy. Okay. <laughs> Shit! What the hell kind of game are they playing? <laughs> what the hell? Is this some kind of bad joke? Uh, um. Something weird is going on here, right? It's not just me. Listen. I know how you feel. But we all can do. What we all can do now is check it out, right? Huh. True. If we do not move forward, we will learn nothing. The only choice is to push- Oh, are they saying the same thing? What about you, Pugrim? You haven't spoken just yet. Well... Are you okay? Is everyone okay? Okay. Um... Sure. Guess what's left, left is to go to the gymnasium, right? Uh, where's that? Can someone please tell me direction to the gym? Oh, map. Derp. Uh, I'm guessing this is music class. Uh, oh, there's a basketball field right there, so I'm gonna guess that's the gymnasium, right? But the door? Wait, the gates are locked, unless... There's something over here! Figures, alright. Uh, here we go. Gym. Okay, here we are. I do not like the hey, luck of that sort. On. God, I had no idea this Hope Peak Academy place was gonna be a bunch of pain in my balls. It really ain't the time. It really ain't that much different from the time I was spending juve juvie. Hell, this place is even worse. Um. And why isn't there everyone, anyone here, walking through the halls? I didn't see a single person. This is bad. Isn't that like seriously not good? <laughs> uh, they're just trying to spook us. They'll. Take those metal plates down later. I'm sure of it. All we can do now is hope for the best and prepare for the worst. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. <laughs> Shit. Well, hell. If it ain't like that, I'm scared of nothing. Let's just get this over with. Hey, damn it. Hey, there's whoever yelled us here. Mondo, stop. No running. <laughs> I shall go too. Hey, wait. Don't leave me here all alone. Okay. Time for some tutorial action. Already? Okay. You can press the triangle button to observe the room you're in. Observing will display what people and objects you can interact with. Sorry for the late notice. No, DD! Be more late, why not? Okay, so, triangle. Notice what? Notice observation. So I could... Okay, so the pink ones are people. Blue ones are uh, objects that we could look around. Another surveillance camera. I feel like we're being watched every second, and I don't like it. So in case we get stuck, we could press the trigo button in case to see what um we could actually see. TV again. School has lots of TVs. They couldn't all just be for that weird school broadcasting, could they? Well, let's talk to you. What are you doing? This is bad. I'm totally getting a bad vibe right now. Okay. What about the door? Oh no, I didn't want to exit. Still filled with uneasy dread, I did what the announcement said and went to- Oh, I wanted to- fuck. Oh, okay, I didn't know that the door- Observing the door means to not examine, but to actually go inside it. Damn it. Oh, I really- It really does look like an intrinsic ceremony. Yo! See, told ya, it's totally normal entrance ceremony stuff. Hero was right. But in a way, that just emphasizes how completely not normal all of us were. Hey there, howdy, hello! 
Is everyone here? Good. Then let's get things rolling. Did they only hire one voice actor and hire different voice actors just one phrases or something? Because that guy's the only person that has consistent voice acting so far in every single dialogue. Whoever this bear thing is. Ooh, 3D models. The power of the PlayStation Vita. It does kind of looks like a GameCube game, though. You know, this game does kind of remind me of Paper Mario in a way, with the whole huh? sprites and shit. Teddy bear? I'm not a teddy bear. I am Monokuma! And I am this school's headmaster! It was the strangest thing I'd ever seen. Right before my eyes, it was... What I was seeing was... It was utterly incomprehensible. Nice to meet you all! Such a bright voice and carefree attitude was completely out of place. And all that anxiety I've been carrying all with me suddenly transformed into outright fear. Say what? <laughs> that teddy bear can't talk! <laughs> Calm down! I'm sure there's just a speaker inside it. Hey! Come I... on now! Oh, now you don't have this in the voice dial. Okay. Uh, um, I told you already, I'm not a teddy bear. I'm Monokuma, and I'm your headmaster. What? What? It moves? Dude, seriously, man, calm down. It's probably just a remote control toy or something. How dare you compare me to the child's thing? You cut me deep, deeper than the Mariotti trend. <laughs> My remote control system is so complex, even the folks at NASA can't recreate what or even comprehend it. Ha! Ah, but don't make me say stuff that might destroy NASA's dreams. I could just bear that. Oh, you're gonna be like Teddy with the whole bear punch scene? Okay. Bear? That? Really? You are unfortunate. Hmm. Now then, moving on, we really must hurry and get started. Come on. Giving up already? No other stupid bear pun. Now then. Quiet down now, quiet down. Ah, okay, so. <laughs> he was a he has abandoned the gag. Good morning! Everyone standing at attention and bow, and good morning! You hear me? Good morning! <laughs> oh my god. What's this guy is way too. You don't have to s say it back. Now then. Now then, let us commence with the most noteworthy and memorable entrance ceremony. First, let's talk a bit about what your school life here will be like. Now, uh, make no mistake, you <laughs> What the fuck is up with the music? <laughs> Sounds like a bunch of drunk guys got to the party and tried to record a record label. Ba -da -ba -ba, ba -da -ba -ba -da. Uh, I, I, I like it though. It fits in the tuna hole silliness vibe of what I'm feeling. So, full of potential, represent the hope of the world. And to protect such splendid hope, you will all live a communal life together, solely within the confines of this school. Everyone will live in harmony together and adhere to the rules and regulations of the school. Huh? Hmm. Ah, now then. We're guarding the end for the communal life. Too bad. There isn't one. In other words, you'll all be here until the day you die. Such is the school life you've been assigned to. What did he just say? Uh, until the day we die? Yep. Oh, but fear not. We have quite an abundant budget, so you won't be a lack of common convenience. Uh, hold on a second. You got a bucket. Deal with it. Um, that, that, that's the least of our worries right now. Hmm. Yeah, what the hell? You're saying I have to live here forever? You're screwing with us, right? It's true. I'm not screwing with you. I'm no liar. Of that you can be 100% sure. Uh-huh. Ah, and just for your information, you're completely cut off from the outside world. So you don't have to worry about the dirty, dirty land beyond the walls ever again! Cut off? So, all those metal plates all over the school. 
they're there to keep us trapped. Oh, sorry. They're there to keep us trapped in here? That's exactly what they're there for. No matter how much you want to yell and scream for your help, help will not come. So with all of that in mind, feel free to live out your life here with reckless abandon. Hey, come on. C come on, what the hell is this? I don't care if this school or whatever else is behind it all. This is just a really bad joke. Damn you! Yeah, cut that shit out! It isn't funny anymore! Unbeal. You keep saying that this is a lie or a joke. A bunch of skeptics are you, all of you. What are you gonna do? But I guess you can't help it, huh? You all grew in an age where you were taught to doubt your neighbor. Well, you have to plenty of time to find out whether or not what I say is true. And when that time comes, You'll see with your own eyeballs that I speak the undeniable truth. Most unfortunate. Having to live here forever would be quite the problem. What's this? Come now, what's the matter with all of you? You decided your own free will to attend Hope's Peak Academy, didn't you? And now, before the entrance ceremony is even finished, you already decided you want to leave? Um... Oh, but you know, I guess I did forget to mention one thing. There is one way for you to leave school. Really? Actually... As headmasters, I've crafted a special clause for those who... Those of you who would like to leave. I call it the graduation clause. Now, then. now let me tell you about this fun little rule. As I mentioned, in order to maintain environmental harmony here, we rely on a communal lifestyle. As if someone were to disrupt that harmony, they, and they alone, would be allowed to leave the school. That, my students, is a graduation clause. What? What do you mean by disrupt the harmony? <laughs> well, you know, if one person were to murder another... M murder? Yes, indeed! Stabbing, strangling, bludgeoningly crushing, hacking, drowning, and knifing. How do you do it? It doesn't matter. You must kill someone if you want to leave. It's as simple as that. So, we have 15 people here. That's an odd number, though that means one of us is stuck here forever. <gasps> we kill the BEAR! Problems- Wait, no, if one person kills- well, Okay, so we, we should all gather together and kill this motherfucker so that we can all leave, right? I solved the puzzle! <laughs> the rest is up to you. Give it all- Give it your all to achieve the best outcome in the worst way possible. Chill shot down my spine. You must kill someone if you want to leave. As soon as I heard those words, my blood went cold. <laughs> I bet that got your brain juices flowing. Beats the heck out of a human catching of salmon, right? Like I said before, you guys are in the hope of the world. But, you know, taking that hope and seeing it get murdered creates a dark and shadow of despair. Scream! And I just find that so darn exciting. What the hell? What the hell are you talking about? To kill each other is... it's... Well, I'm pretty sure the Biker Gang has no problem of doing that, so... To kill each other is to kill each other. I'm sure there's a dictionary there somewhere if you need it. What are you saying? We know what it means, that's not the problem. Why do we have to kill each other? What? Yeah, stop blabbering with all the nonsense, just let us go home already! Blabbering... Blabbering... Uh -oh. Blabbering, blabbering. What do you mean blabbering? Stop blabbering on about blabbering on. There is creepy. <laughs> you guys just don't get it, do you? Let us go. Let us go. You keep on saying the same thing over and over and over. Listen. From this moment on, this school is your home, your life, your world. Got it? You can kill as much as you want to kill, so go ahead and go on a kill kill killing spree! <sighs> Alright, come on, how long are we gonna keep this up? Eh? You know? You got us, okay? You scared the hell out of us, so we can go ahead and reveal the trick now. Reveal the trick? I'm right, right? Yeah, cause I mean, you know, this is all some kind of trick at all right now, so uh, <sighs> like... Shit. Dude, shut the hell up and get out of my way. 
Shoving Hiro aside, Monado, oh, I'm sorry, Mondo placed himself in front of the Moku Makimura Bozo Thunder. You're dead. Listen up, asshole. This shit's gone way too far. What the hell kind of joke is this? What's the matter? A joke? What? You mean like your hair? You son of a bitch. Uh... Mondo roared out, and then there was a sudden boom. It was the sound of the floorboards as he kicked and launched himself into the air. He flew at Manokuma, fast and straight as a bullet. He locked out to his target. Why you, you little piece of shit? I don't know if you're a toy or a stuffed animal or whatever the hell. Well, I see he's gonna be the first one to escape. Either way, I'm gonna rip you to fucking shreds! What? <laughs> the violence against the headmaster is in violation of school regulations! Didn't you just say that if we defy those regulations, we will be free? Shut the fuck up! Let me out of here, I swear to Christ! That doesn't sound good. Hey, damn it! What? No smartass comeback this time? Oh shit, someone's at the door, be right back. Ugh. Alright, I'm back. Uh, hold on, let me get my earphones. I got a stuffy nose for some reason. I don't know why. Um. Alright, so yeah, we're in deep shit right now. I might, I might as well put that up as a separate segment or something. Piece of shit! <clears throat> Stop that goddamn beeping! Say something! Watch out! Is it a time bomb? Huh? Huh? Hurry up and throw it! I don't know if her ferocity stunned him into silence or what, but without a word, he did what he was told. He threw Monokuma, and as soon as he did... <laughs> the hell?! What the? L that sure ain't shit wasn't a joke, he blew the hell up! There was a painful ringing in my ear, and I could smell gunpowder. Explosions might happen all the time in movies or whatever, but when it's in real life... Never seen anything like it. But, but, but you know, that means the teddy bear's been destroyed, right? Hey. I told you, not. I'm. Oh fuck me. <laughs> uh, there's another one. Damn you! You son of a bitch! You seriously tried to kill me just now? Of course. Well, yes, I was seriously about to try and kill you. You did violate one of the school regulations, after all. I'll let you off with a warning this time, but you better be careful from now on. Any naughty boy or girl who violates my rules won't get off with such a little swat in the butt. This is bad. Uh, hey, so does this mean like there's like a bunch more of you around somewhere? Yep. Monokumas have been placed all throughout the school, yes. Plus, don't forget the surveillance cameras installed everywhere. And if you're caught breaking any rules, well, you all just saw what happened, right? <laughs> Hoo -hoo. And I won't be so forgiving with my punishment next time, so don't let it happen again. Huh? That was not even punishment, that's just wrong. Well? well then, lastly, to commemorate your joyous entry into our school, I have a little something for you. Ta-da! This is our official student handbook. Pretty cool, huh? As you can see, it's fully digital, so naturally we call it... The E-Handbook. Hmm. <laughs> yes, well, moving on. This handbook is absolutely vital to a healthy school of life, so don't lose it. When you start it up, it will display your name. Always make sure you have the right one. <laughs> now, this is not your everyday school book. Sorry, notebook. It has so many more uses than that. Also, it's completely waterproof. Smash it, wash it, drown it, it'll keep on ticking. And thanks to its space station design, it can withstand an impact force up to 10 tons, very resistant. It contains all your school regulations, so make sure you review them thoroughly. Nice. Oh boy. 
You'll hear me say this a lot, but any violation of school regulations will not be tolerated. Shit. Rules restrict, yes, but they also protect. Society, for example, would be utterly chaos without laws. Yes, indeed. The same thing applies here, which is why it's crucial we have strict punishments in place for violators. Okay, well, that brings us to our interest ceremony to a close. Bye. Please enjoy your abruptly cheery school life, and see ya! Uh, and with that, he is gone, leaving us with all the state of shock. So, guys, how would you define what just experienced? Uh, I'm getting real tired from all this voice acting. I'm just gonna skim through what's going on. We have to live here forever or, or kill? What just happened? Calm down. Everyone, we just need to calm down. First, let's just take a second to summarize everything we just heard based on what Makuna said. It is essential. We have essentially two choices. Choice number one is that we each stay here, living a communal life together until the day we die. And the other choice is... Indeed. Do we want to get out of here alive? We have to kill someone, right? That's... But killing someone, that's... <laughs> we were attacking out of nowhere, started to the place and the school. Okay, I'm just, yeah, I'm just gonna skim through all this. Uh, going started, that is. This is, this is just... What is this? Ridiculous. A lie is what it is. All these ridiculous things we've heard. This all has to be fake. Hmm. Right now, it doesn't seem what really matters if it's real or fake. What matters is... In other words... Is there anyone here who seriously consider all this? To that, nobody has a response. Keeping quiet myself, I looked around at the others. Ooh. They all stared at one another, trying to gauge each other's thoughts. I could almost taste the hostility, and that's when it hit me. I realized the true terror hidden within the rules Makuna, Ma Makuna Mata had laid out. You must kill someone if you want to leave. Those words had planted vicious thoughts deep within each of us. Each of us became suspicious of everyone else. We were forced to wonder, is someone going to betray us? Oh boy. And that was how my new school life began. The school, which had come out of nowhere to raise my hopes so high. It's not a school of hope. It's a school of despair. Wait, is this the prologue's end or the end? <laughs> uh, maybe I should have put this surviving students. 50. Oh shit. Oh boy, to be continued. Okay, I'm looking forward to this game actually. The premise is obviously really cool. Um, intro cinematic. He has a catchy tune, but oh boy. <laughs> Being confined into this tiny place. I'm not sure we can get used to it eventually, but. But. Yeah, people are gonna go crazy again. Makoto Nagi! Voiced by. I don't know. Leon Kawata, Sayaka, whatever. Chihiro, blah blah blah. Kiyata. Oh my god, the credits are going way too fast. I can't tell who's who. I might as well try to remember the, each of the names of these guys if I'm gonna live together with them. <sighs> I don't think that was all everyone. Monokuma. I didn't see the uh, surfer dude. Oh, sorry, the psychic dude. There we go. Yaka, Toko, Mondo, Kumi. Aoi, Sakura. Yeah. That's nice, interesting, Mag, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get flagged for this shit, huh? Um, yeah, I probably should, um, combine those parts when I uh, try to, um, open the door or something. That's not how long we've been recording this. I feel like starting this game right now would, um... Like, I think we're done with the prologue, obviously, because we had the prologue. So, seeing what's up afterwards... Oh boy. I can't wait to, uh... See what this game has to offer. So I'm really excited, surprisingly, despite this being an NIS game. Uh, yeah. So it does save for all, though, right? <laughs> you received a school crest present. Cool. All right, so we could save. Yeah, trophy from zero to hero. Uh, so yeah, I think that's it for um today's recording session. The next time we record, trigger happy havoc. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Alright guys, see you guys uh, then, and thank you guys so much for watching.